Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Today I want to provide a quick tutorial on how to make a spiral walkway of any object using my No Man's Sky utility plugin called NMS Util. This utility is an add-on plugin for Blender that I developed using Python code and is downloadable from GitHub at the following URL. It has a bunch of modules in it that allow you to do various object manipulations within Blender. But this tutorial is going to focus on one specific uh, method, uh, how to make a spiral walkway that you can import into your No Man's Sky base. This tutorial is for those users who are already familiar with the Blender uh, software and interface and have already successfully installed the No Man's Sky base builder plugin by Charlie Banks, as well as my NMS util plugin. You should also be familiar with how to import and export bases to and from the No Man's Sky game to Blender and back using the Save Game Editor by Goat Fungus. If you're not familiar with the, this process or these utilities, please see my other videos using Blender with No Man's Sky on YouTube that walk through this information. All right, let's jump into it. Um, I've already uh, imported a small base into Blender that I'll use as an example first step is to decide what kind of object I want for my spiral walkway. I'm going to bring up the NMS Base Builder plugin by clicking on the tab on the right side of the 3D window here. Uh, I will then go down and launch Acid Browser to bring up the available objects we can select from the parts library. And I will select the alloy glass floor panel in this example, which we'll place in the scene. We'll close the Asset Browser and then activate the NMS uh, Util plugin menu by clicking on the Menu tab on the right here. And then expand the Object Along Curve module menu here. The first section is where you'll select the kind of curve we want to create, and I'm going to select a spiral from the drop-down selection. I'll then click on the Setup button to set up some parameters uh, for the spiral we want to create. Leave the axis on Z and the iterations on 512 for now. Um, you can adjust the screw, uh, the number of iterations, as well as the angle of rotation to whatever you want. You can manually enter in these values or left mouse click and drag to adjust. To resize the whole spiral, left click on the resize button and drag the mouse left and right to resize to your liking. Once you're satisfied with the spiral settings, click the Build Curve button to lock in the spiral parameters and create the curve. Now the first thing you'll notice is this odd line uh, created that connects the beginning and ending of our spiral curve. Don't worry about this at the moment. This is a normal uh, part of this process. We now want to select both the original object and the newly created curve in a group selection. You do this by left mouse click on the object, then shift plus left mouse click to the, the curve so that both are selected. We then click the create button to copy our object along this curve. You'll now probably see a mess of objects copied along our curve, but their orientation uh, may need some adjustment and we can do that with the tool. With the curve or one of the objects along the curve selected, we can adjust orientation of all objects by clicking the X axis, Y axis, or Z axis buttons. Again, don't worry about the odd objects attached to the connecting line between the beginning and ending of our spiral. We'll deal with those later. The important part is to get the orientation of the objects reasonably correct along the spiral. We can change the distance between each object along the spiral by clicking the Adjust Spacing buttons here. It's important to note that right now we have a bunch of objects that have been duplicated and constrained by the spiral curve we've created. This means you can only issue standard Blender transform commands such as rotate, resize, and move on the curve itself. If you try and delete, resize, move, or rotate any of the individual objects with these constraints, you'll get some strange results. When we are satisfied with the spacing and orientation of our spiral objects, we can disconnect and delete the constraint links between the curve and the objects by simply selecting any object or curve and clicking the delete button up here under the section called remove curve and constraints keep objects. 
Doing this deletes the curve and all of the object constraints, but keeps the positions of the object, which is now treated as normal objects in Blender, and we can freely make transform commands on them without any weird results. Be aware that we now have lost control of any uh, spacing along the curve. However, we can make some adjustments to orientations and delete those crazy objects that were on the connecting line. And of course, if you don't like the results you currently have, you can delete and start over the process, no problem. Right? To show an example of orientation adjustments, let's say we want to have a slight bank to our spiral walkway as it goes up. Let's make sure before we make the adjustments that our transform orientation setting in Blender at the top of the 3D window here is set to local. This means any rotation we perform on the objects will not be relative to or will be relative to its local current position and not on the global axes. We also want uh, the transform pivot point setting in Blender, which is right next to it, to be set to individual origins which basically means we'll be rotating each object relative to their own origin position. I'm going to select all objects in the spiral and then hit the R button for rotate, followed by the X, Y, or Z button for the axis to rotate around. Depending on the type of object and its relative origin, you'll get different results here. In this example, I'm using the Z button and the mouse, bu uh, mouse move to position a slight bank to our walkway objects. Once I'm satisfied with the angles, I left mouse click uh, to set the rotation amount. As you can see, we have a nice banked ramp uh, walkway that spirals up. Let's undo this adjustment by hitting Control Z and trying something else. Let's say we want our walkway to be more like spiral steps going up. We can easily do this by selecting all objects, uh, hitting the R button in our case, followed by the X button, and mouse move to position a slight step to our walkway objects. Once I'm satisfied with the step amount, I left mouse click button to set the position. Now we have a spiral staircase with steps going up. You'll want to experiment with different um, objects to see what kinds of results you get. Uh, be aware that No Man's Sky game engine mechanics varies based on object parameters. Some objects will cause you to feel like your character is stuttering or tripping up the stairs, so build and test each one. I hope this tutorial was useful. Uh, have fun and keep building.